for our crown reigning Miss America, Miss Brittany Wagner. She presents Finding Your Purpose, sponsored by the Hesperia Chamber of Commerce. Hi everyone, I'm here today to share with you how I found my purpose. My purpose was actually inspired by my father, who was a type one diabetic. He was diagnosed when he was 21 years old, and from that moment on, he was in denial. Even my mom didn't know he had it until a few days before their wedding. My father's health was never a priority or something we talked about. That being said, his health continued to decline as he got older, and he started facing the common symptoms of a type one diabetic. Loss of feeling in his feet and hands. He lost his sight, so he tripped and broke his leg. He got in a car accident and ended up losing his license. I would drive him after school to and from the doctors. I tried to encourage him by writing notes around the house to remind him to take his insulin and check his blood sugar, but he was really stubborn. In 2007, my dad went into a diabetic coma. Fortunately, we were able to nurse him back to health that year, but not much changed, and the following year, on Christmas morning, my father passed away from a massive heart attack from complications of type 1. I then learned that diabetes affects all of your organs, and by not taking care of your body, it can lead to fatal results. This is when my world collapsed. As you can imagine, being 20 years old, an only child, I was devastated. I had been competing in pageants for nine years already and was competing for Miss California. This particular pageant required that you advocated for a platform that was really dear to you. I had already worked with 20 other organizations by this time, but none of them really hit home. I knew that even though it was gonna be the toughest decision of my life, I had to choose diabetes. I had to choose to grow through my grief and go on a journey where I'd have the most impact. I then became a spokesperson for the American Diabetes Association. I became very involved, I joined the advocacy committee. My mom and I became gala committee chairman. We even created our own fundraiser. I learned all of the things I should have known when my dad was alive. I learned the resources that were out there and the ways that we could have helped him. I cried many times through sharing my story and talking about my dad's passing and his suffering. What I didn't know at the time was every time I talked about my dad, every time I told about his suffering, I was healing. Not only was I healing, but I was inspiring others. Whether it was a 5K step out walk, a tour to cure bike ride, or a diabetic messaging me saying thank you for encouraging them to stop being a victim and make their health a priority. I have now advocated from the Midwest to the West Coast. Winning Ms. America is another vessel for me to reach diabetics nationwide. Even though this journey started because of my dad's passing, every time I do something that's related to diabetes, I start to feel a little bit more love related to him, knowing that I'm keeping his legacy alive. Now, I didn't know when I was a little girl that my dad's disease would have an effect on me 20 years down, the li 20 years down my life. I didn't know that all the community service I did when I was young would prepare me to be a national spokesperson. I didn't know that my purpose as Ms. America and as Brittany Wagner was going to be helping stop diabetes, but my purpose chose me. Now maybe your purpose hasn't chosen you, maybe it has. Maybe you're still looking for your purpose. There's no time frame, no age limit, and no discrimination to your purpose. I encourage you to look at your life, the experiences you've had, the choices you've made, the choices others have made that have affected you, and see what could you be doing to make an impact? Is there something that you're gonna be doing that's going to inspire generations to come? I know that I crossed this intersection and I took the leap of faith. I went for it. Is it time for you to be doing that? And even though I took the hard route, it's been the most fulfilling. So there are some circumstances we can control and some we can't. What we have control of is what we do after those experiences have happened to us. Do we choose to see the silver lining, the future impact that can come from a past tragedy, or do we just forget it? Maybe your experience was a good one. Don't let it be the last one. Multiply that goodness and help it grow. You may not be a professional in the way that your purpose is leading you, and that's okay. You just need to be passionate. It needs to be personal. You need to care. You need to give of yourself and of your time. I chose to take the worst experience of my life, my greatest tragedy, and turn it into a mission of hope and inspiration. I've now carried on my father's legacy, not because of what he didn't do, but because of what 
I'm doing now for him. I educate others, I inspire them to stop being a victim, to make their health a priority, and to get out there and get involved. I am encouraging you to look and see what is your purpose. My purpose found me. I chose to live it out. What is your purpose, and are you ready to take it on? Thank you. Thank you, Brittany Wagner!